This is Walter the second. Yes, to just greet you. And if my sisters want to say anything, we will. But we call him Jamie. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you all for, my God, if my father could see this. He was a humble man. And um, he always felt like he didn't have a lot of support in his hometown sometimes. And I'd go back east and do concerts a lot out there um, and preach out there. If he could see this now. And he taught me, he said, um, when you go to heaven, you get to see Jesus. And so I don't believe he's looking down at all this. I think his attention is otherwise diverted. I believe he's looking at Jesus, the one that took him from this point to that point and saying, holy, 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 holy. He modeled change. He modeled the progress, the growth process. I saw him speak faith and look in the mirror at cancer. Shake his head and say, no, I speak faith. Yeah. I'll never forget that. I saw him love unconditionally. I saw him forgive over it. I remember going to school and people telling me, oh, you go to that church. Your father is the pastor of that church. I remember losing friends when they found out that I was associated with. Thank you. And then I... Remember my father's lessons about forgiveness and love. And when my wife and I got married, we went through some trying times. And those lessons of love and forgiveness came right back and saved a family. I learned love and forgiveness on a whole nother level, not just in words, but I saw it modeled. I want to say to my mother, you've been my backbone. I know what you've been through, and I love you. I love you so, so much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Mama. From the bottom of my heart. I'm going to say to the Love Center family that I love you. You're not just people I go to church with. You're family. Always been, always will be. Let my sister say something. When we pray, we look for, sometimes I believe we pray for specific things. I know my dad loved life. And we, we look forward to, to a specific healing. And I believe both my dad 
and I and others that were praying for him. Not all, but I believe we were narrow-minded. I looked at the scripture, knocking the door shall be open, and I was sharing with my auntie Ned. I said, sometimes when you knock on a, a door, you don't know what is on the other side of that door. And through my dad's death, not only did he get healed, but I was also healed. I see more now than I've ever seen, and I've been blessed. And I just, that's all I have to say. When you pray, continue to pray, and don't be discouraged by what you see with your natural eye. Because God has so much more in store for you than what you know.